Oh boy. Hey now, Rob here, Rob School of Music, and today my friends at Sweetwater and Line 6 have sent me a Helix, so we're gonna unbox it, we're gonna make a tone, and we're gonna learn a song by Guns N' Roses. So the Helix is an amp modeler, right? Amp modeling has come a very long way. Think back, Line 6, they started the game, right? They had the pod, if you guys remember that, and they had all those really cool multi-pedals, the DL4, I think it was, the green one, that was incredible, the delay pedal. The Helix is the next step because this is truly modeling what you're hearing when you listen to a real amp. It's not cloning in the way, say, a quad cortex would be or a Kemper where you're getting the captures. This is true modeling and I think it does an incredible job. So let's unbox it and see what we have inside. And there it is, my friends. The Helix, top of the line flagship model. They have the HX Stomp and a bunch of other smaller versions you can use, but this one to me is the one I would gig with if I were to take it out on the road, also using the studio. So let's get some sounds. Let's hear what this guy sounds like. I have Helix hooked up through a Friedman powered cabinet. And this is just basically the normal double, uh, it's like a twin, twin reverb through, through a, Jaguar, what do we got? Uh... Let's try a plexi. All kinds of sounds. Here's a uh, the deluxe reverb. What would happen? I'm going to try this to demonstrate for you guys. All right, so today, guys, we're going to learn Don't Cry, Guns N' Roses. You can see me over there, but I want you to see what's going here. So we can jump to this camera. Okay, we're in the Helix. Everything's laid out exactly as you need it. All of our presets, boom, everything is here. Pretty simple, straightforward the way most modelers would be done. But then when we get inside of it, expression pedal, obviously, the routing, I'll show you guys at the end. I'm going straight into that Friedman cabinet down there. But Everything is just so clearly done. Now I use other units, okay? In real life, I happen to use a different one of these. Usually this is my first time messing with a Helix and the simplicity of editing this is outrageous to me that I am going to be converted. So let's say we're in this deluxe reverb, right? Sort of sound, normal, double, all right? Twin, I guess we'll call that. Let's go to the deluxe, I like the deluxe better. But we're in the deluxe, okay? We wanna edit it. We simply click this button and now we're inside of it. So all over here, rotating through the different amps, okay, I'm where I want to be. So I'm going to stay on that one. But now let's say I want to get into the tone of the amp. Simply twist it like you would an amp when you're done. You press save. And that's it. Boom, you can change the name. I don't want it. We're just going to keep it as is. And now it's set. Now there's all these different blocks. 
So let's go back into it and let's see what we can do. Let's click over to the, oh, more, more choices, right? How cool is that? Okay. Now let's say we want to mess with the different blocks. Let's say I want to tweak that reverb in there. I simply click over with this knob. Now I'm in the actual reverb. And now I could pick a different reverb if I wanted it, but I like the one that's already in there. Okay, get out of it, just go home. We're back to the home screen. But let's say now I wanna change something. Okay, this one has this the tremolo, right? Cause that would be the amp, I click on it, but maybe I don't want the trem that's in there. Maybe I wanna make that a, I don't know, maybe a phaser. So now I'm in the phaser. I can again adjust what's going on here. So we're gonna give a little bit of spread. We're gonna up that mix a little bit. We're gonna keep the rate where it was, okay? And we're gonna go save and save. And now we're in there. But wait a second, how do I get to, if I want it to look like a pedal board? Right there. This button gets me in and out of the all of my patches to now it looks like a pedal board. So now if I wanna turn on and off that phaser, right there. If I wanna kick a boost in there, right there. A little bit of delay, right there. And then back to my other screen. I can also click in, tap and hold. Now it's in a tuner. Out of it, tap again. I can also double tap it to set my rates. All right, so let's get into the song. In today's lesson, we're gonna take the Helix and we're gonna play Don't Cry by Guns N' Roses, okay? Check it out, A minor, D minor, G major, C. We're gonna arpeggiate it, so it's gonna go. Chorus is gonna be F major. C, I'm sorry. Chorus is gonna be Chorus is going to be F major, G major, A minor. There it goes. Now let's say I'm having some fun at the gig and I want to kind of get into some fun on the helix, so I'm going to click in that phaser to make that cool part sound different, the intro section, right? And now let's say for the chorus, I wanna get the gain. So I'm gonna click off the phaser, click on the boost. Boom. say I want to get something a little bit heavier, right? I'm not happy with that, so I want to rock a little heavier in that chorus. So I'm going to come in from the... intentionally used a Jaguar for this song to show you that the Helix will compensate, okay? This is not what Slash or Izzy or, or anyone was using in GNR on that tune, but the model in the Helix is still going to rock out, so that's the rectifier sound, rectifier preset, or Kali, whatever they call it, but I'm using it with this very, very, very Jaguar pickup. Mm -hmm. You get the buzz, but it still rocks. Mm -hmm. And there you have it, my friends. Thank you, Sweetwater. Thank you, Line 6. Check out the Helix. This thing shreds. Mm -hmm.